Hello YouTube world. So I was driving to the store and I decided to just pull off um, the side of the road to the nearby lake park. It's just amazing here. Um, intuitively, something just nudged me. I had no plans to come here today, but um, I've been working with my root chakra lately. I'm not very grounded these days. That's why I have on red today. Um, but I just, I just felt like, okay, go and okay, park. And I found this beautiful tree root and a frog living inside and full of holes. But the root of the tree is as long as my body. So if I were to lay on that tree, um, it would be like a bed for me. And it's, it's been cut low and it's just hollow and deep into the ground. And then there's just this amazing family of trees just growing together. I'm going to show you. See how they've merged into yeah. two, from two into one? It's just beautiful. See the, the five? One, two, three, four, five, six pointed star. You know, nature is beautiful, and if, if you don't listen to that inner voice that tells you what to do, you might miss out on this lovely universe that we have here. Um, this is like 10 minutes from home, and Jacob and I just wanted to get out of the house, and here we are. That, that route is amazing. I feel like kicking off my shoes and, and doing some grounding exercises, which I'll do after I make this video. But the next video I wanted to make, I wanted to share about a, an experience I just had recently. Um, I actually have been studying aura, vision, seeing auras for at least 20 years because the first time I heard of an aura was I was in high school, pretty young. And so I've read everything there is to read on aura seeing and I've done all there is to do class-wise, video-wise on learning how to see auras. And the other day, and well anyway, I had this book in my last job and this seventh grader, avid reader, he saw me reading it and he asked me what, what was I reading? I was like, oh, it's just a book on, you know, being psychic, and, and he said, oh, you think I could borrow that book from you? And I said, sure. Uh, the kid would read, like, a book a day, so he read it, he gave it back, and right away he took, he took it, and he could see my aura, and he would let me know every day of the week that I saw him, what color it was, and... I was so jealous because here I am, been studying this since I was in high school and I've never been able to really truly see an aura. Um, but the other day it happened without trying. I was just really into the message at the Center for Spiritual Living on Sunday a couple weeks back and sure enough, I saw this woman's aura and it was amazing. It was such an amazing situation and experience and and the trick was I wasn't even trying. That was never, it never crossed my mind. And and you know what I did? When I did see it, I doubted myself. I, I kept trying to convince myself that I was not seeing her aura. And all the logical reasons in why I wasn't seeing it. Um, I was trying to explain it away. And I guess that's been part of the problem on my path, you know, I'm very intuitive, very psychic, um, and I'm very logical too, so, you know, I'm a double-edged sword here, but I'm slowly learning to be more intuitive, to be more grounded, and I will find my way. Thanks for watching.